Hello, hello. For today's video, we have something I'm super excited about. It is this Totoro stained glass jigsaw puzzle. And I saw a few of the pieces at the store and just couldn't resist buying it because they look so good. So yeah, let's get into it. I'm notoriously bad at opening boxes. This was supposed to be satisfying, but it wasn't. Here we go. Oh my gosh, this is a lot of pieces. Take a look. These pieces are actually made out of plastic, not like traditional cardboard. And I think that's part of what gives them the stained glass effect. Obviously you can't do that with cardboard. And you can just feel that the pieces are really well cut and hopefully they'll have good fits, but we'll see. All right, so the first step is sorting out all the edge pieces. I was missing a few of the edge pieces, which kind of sucked, but then I moved on to working on this red leafy guy. You always get that nice little rush of dopamine when something clicks into place, and especially with this puzzle, you even get like a little audible click too. Alrighty, well it's now day two, and I just finished a long day of work, so I'm ready to kind of zone out and do some puzzling. I will say that the little piece I did yesterday was like way easier than the border edge, so I'm kind of hopeful I'll make some good progress today. So now that I've kind of finished the big red section, I'm gonna work on the white pieces next. After struggling for quite a bit, as you can tell from the rapidly departing sun, I have realized that my strategy kind of sucked. Gathering all the red pieces worked really well for this because there just isn't that many red pieces in the first place. But white pieces, there are a bazillion of those. So then I changed course and tried to start assembling each of the individual pictures. I started with the little blue Totoro in the top left corner. Then moved on to the big gray Totoro beneath him. Unfortunately, I just could not find the last freaking white piece. But sometimes you just gotta move on. Alrighty, so today is day three, and my goal is actually to finish this whole puzzle, which I know might sound crazy because I still have so many pieces left. There are even pieces on that little like window ledge over there. But I think I can get there because yesterday while I was sorting through the pieces, I was doing a good job of separating out all the background colors. And like, as you can see, each of the characters kind of has their own like background color. Uh, so this guy, his is yellow. So here you can see I have all the light gray background pieces, the light green pieces, the light blue pieces. And yeah, admittedly, there's a bunch of other pieces that I haven't sorted through yet, but uh, we'll worry about that later. All right, so now that I've picked out all the light gray pieces, I'm gonna try the snow toter again. This guy defeated me once, but I'm gonna get him this time. And once again, it looks like somehow the very last piece of the Totoro is eluding me. On the bright side though, while working on that guy, I managed to find the gray Totoro's last piece. So you know, you win some, you lose some. I guess I'm still missing this piece, but uh, let's ignore that. All right, next up I'm patching up some of the Totoro's that I started yesterday, now that I have all their background pieces sorted out. I then started working on the fifth section, which features a big purple flower. I honestly really struggle with this section. Like you can't tell, but that's because I sped this section up faster than I sped up all the other sections. Alrighty, well, I am unfortunately admitting defeat for today. I have made a ton of progress, but there is still way too much to go to finish. So we'll pick this back up again tomorrow. Alrighty, y'all ready for day four? Today's the day that I actually finished this puzzle, like for real this time. So let's get cracking. So I actually chose to tackle this section last because I thought it would be really hard, but it actually was a lot easier than I expected because I think the textures are pretty distinct and it probably helped that I had already finished most of the rest of the puzzle. I really like jigsaw puzzling just because it's such a chill, fun way to pass some time. Like it's so fun to kind of zone out and just be zen. And with all the major pictures done, all that was left was to fill in the little tiny connector pieces. But it turns out that was actually one of the hardest parts, just like the edge, because all the connector pieces are pretty generic and can be basically used by any of the sections. Okay, today is day five, and I'm actually gonna finish today, because if I don't, it'd be really embarrassing, since I only have these pieces left. Although I guess it's already embarrassing, because this is the third time I've said that. But uh, you know, third time's the charm, right? And ta-da, we are all done. 
1,000 pieces later and we finished. So I'll admit that I totally could have finished this yesterday. Like the few pieces that I had left today were pretty easy to put in. But part of the reason why I wanted to wait until the morning was so that I could do the grand reveal during the daytime. Ah! You didn't see that. Ta-da! Doesn't it look so good? I actually think I might keep it up here for a few days because I just love the way it looks with the light streaming in. Alrighty, so here we have the finished product and I'll give you some of my concluding thoughts. First of all, on the puzzle quality, I'd give this a five out of five. Each of the pieces was really well cut and every time you put them together, you could tell immediately if it was the right fit or not. Like there were never any questions of, oh, I'm not sure if these two go together. Um, and also it was just so satisfying to put the pieces together and hear that little snap sound. You can also clearly tell the quality just from uh, how nice this looks, you know? As for difficulty, I think I'd give the puzzle a two and a half out of five, which is pretty middle of the road. So one of the things that makes this puzzle easier is that, you know, there are these little sections and you can sort out the pieces of each color into the sections and that kind of helps. On the other hand, the one part that makes this puzzle a little bit harder is because of the stained glass effect, you don't really have any sort of gradients in the color scheme. So like all of these, you know, pieces, they're the exact same color. But overall, I would say it was a very good difficulty puzzle. Like not too hard, not too easy. And the last and most important criteria is definitely enjoyment. So I would give this puzzle a five out of five. It's honestly one of the most fun I've had with a puzzle in a really long time. So that is a good thing. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video at all, please subscribe to my channel. It would really mean the world to me. I've been working really hard on putting together these videos and seeing that people enjoy them really makes my day. Hope to see you next time. Bye.